the experiment uh, that I had with my son, February 3rd, the year 2000, in the giant sandbox is worth talking about. With a dad and his kid with the sandbox, it started with pouring sand. And you know, pour sand, it's in friction. When you pour sand fast, it forms a mounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, but when you throw sand, it can stream out over a surface like a blanket. Right. And I was throwing out sand with little leaf fragments in it, thinking about nautiloids, when the idea of a high velocity flow came to my mind. Rather than thinking about granular friction, you know, the grains as they bounce along in the, in a, as you throw the grains out, the frictional flow, I imagined little springs between the sand grains holding them apart. And if that could happen, the sand could flow almost endlessly. And my brain entered a, a domain, I call it no friction land. I started thinking about high speed, no friction flow of sediment slurries, concentrated sediment slurries over the surface of the earth uh, on low, uh, low slopes and that kind of thing. It led me into a four year thought experiment, if you will, about how sand grains and sand-sized particles and large fossils might move.